All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our second chronicle in the Septimus 3 Wabajack mod list for uh, Skyrim SE. And now uh, we're working on Dawn Guard content. Are there no female dragons? So we are ready to roll up to here to Mara's Pond. Have not discovered this place yet. Let's go to Uttering Hills. Cave. Sure, they would be more reasonable. Oh, very hungry. Ah, oh, shoot, that's right. Okay, guys, I gotta pause you because I have to take care of uh, all of my off screen stuff. right now I'm in caves already all right welcome back everybody I got everything sorted and sold uh, I need to probably get more food ingredients to make food uh, Serana now has a bandolier and I gave her a new a better crown for her to wear like a, a tiara that reduces her conjuration spells by 15% she before that she had something that reduced illusion spells cost by uh, I think it was 5% maybe it was 10% in hindsight she'll probably benefit better from reduction of illusion spells because she only uses that conjuration spell sparingly to dead. raise the dead That's not great for my skin. and she channels the illusion stuff I think or maybe even destruction it's probably destruction but her ring and her tiara now both reduce conjuration. So I don't know, maybe it's uh, six or a half dozen of the other. That Summoning that Dramora Lord is probably pretty expensive. Uh, we need to go this way. So I'm looking forward to knocking out more quests today. I continue to be real real happy that I rolled back that that first episode after rolling back was a doozy I did a lot of off-screen work in addition to the recording of the episode that I did in order to catch us up but uh, ever since then it's been smooth sailing and kind of running downhill since then I think this must be the iPod yeah To quick save. Something's not right. pretty easy okay uh as I had said I need to get food okay apples I really am more looking for stuff that I can cook with it's gonna be in barrels right So I see crates, not a whole heck of a lot of barrels actually. Wheat doesn't help. 
lavender. There we go, that's... that'll help. Carrots, salt pile, potatoes, that should probably be it. Oh, I did that out of... Habit, uh, food, doesn't count as food, it's an alchemical ingredient, drop that, although it can be used to make health potions, but I find I really didn't need to go into alchemy at all, there's so many cure poison and health and stamina potions dropped that uh, it's really just not an issue whatsoever. I'm not gonna die like this. Oh really? Go! Take the chittens. You die twice. Okay. And we will now fast travel back over to Fort Dongard. Ah, oh, where are you at? Right here. This is fine for now, but we can't stay hold up here forever. Um... Take care of yourself. Our sense of what's right is not separate. Is. Very good. Though I suspect there's more wherever he came from. We cannot afford to relax. Good luck. What's that conjuration mask look like? The one I gave her is blue. Yeah. Same, same. Oh, look, one. this one's 20%. Hey, Serana. Let's All right, let's see what you have. I got you another upgrade. Give me the 15%. And I'll give to you... ...the 20%. All right, then. We can't give up. There's no one else to stand. I've located the whereabouts of a vampire masquerading as a common citizen. Track him down and dispose of him. Tread lightly. The law is unaware of the danger. We will treat you as a criminal if you're caught. What is the vampire doing? Vampires enjoy stalking their prey. Passing among us undetected emboldens them. Makes them feel powerful. Untouchable. But we'll put a swift end to that. Nice. Now can I avoid trouble with the law? You must be clever. Find a way not to be caught or accused of murder. You'll figure something out. We must be vigilant and self-sufficient if we are to defeat these monsters. That's cool. Can't we inform the Jarl? Alas, the vampire can cloud the minds of those he preys upon. Ah, yeah, of course. It's easy to convince anyone who's other than the appears. The law will require proof that we can't present. And the Yarls disapprove of bloodshed they haven't called for themselves. Best not to damage our reputation. Let your actions be as discreet as possible. Okay. The light be with you. Well, there's a lot of food around here. 
Take the potatoes. How is the work coming along? Fairly well, I'd say. I've managed to get this far without blowing myself up. I still have all I guess I'll take the leaks. What are you doing? That's so dangerous. Although I don't really know what to do with them without having the uh, gourd to make the the vegetable stew. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. this place out is this it's it's hard for me to tell whether or not it's improving or not because I don't remember what areas had cobwebs and what doesn't and I haven't uh, noticed any huge changes so I probably ought to look that up to see if I'm even wasting my time with that notion Traveling Pilgrim. Oh, here he is. He's up here in Windhelm. That might be difficult. a vampire so he might not even sleep oh he's not in the inn like I thought he would be okay oh he's stalking that's probably his victim right there it's good to spend some time on solid land. Until next time. Oh, they used to call Windhelm the city of kings. In the books, anyway. Now we got the guard pathing back. This might be a terrible place. to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. He seems to be right at the crossroads of the busiest section in Windhelm. And I'm not sure if you, May you find shade he'll stay. stay here or not. I know he must path down that way at some point in time. Cause that's where he was coming from when we first got here. Looks like he's headed that way again. Oh, darn it. So close. Hmm. You're mine! <laughs> 
Stop right there. Darn it. Never should have come here. I will make you suffer. This should be good. not working. I might have to wait for him to go in and then leave. People I deal with I... here are hmm. secretive. You know how it is. Of course. I understand who you are. Uh, to which shrine are you headed, Pilgrim? Which shrine? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to them all. Yes, yes, one at a time. Until I've uh, visited all the shrines to all the gods. In Skyrim. Gotcha. Number three. Why? What do you want? Intimidation has worked for me more than persuasion. Settle down. No need for threats. Lead the way. But I'm warning you. I am not afraid to fight you if I have to. This simply wasn't murdered in cold blood. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Uh shoot. What do you want, Imperial? Uh three. Why? What do you want? Two. Settle down. No need for threats. Lead the way. But I'm warning you. I'm not afraid to Got fight you, you if I have to. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Should have come. I still remember how to fight. This simply wasn't your day, was it? Nice. Well, let's see what these guards say. Not a thing. <laughs> All right. We got away with it. All right, down we go. And back to Fort Dawnguard. Well, that was kind of cool. Cozy little place, isn't this? Number three. Very good. That's one less monster we need to worry about. Though there's plenty more where he came from. Be ever watchful. I found another beast hiding from the light of day. Good luck. Well, he didn't really give me a quest. This is fine for now, but we can't stay hold up here forever. Arke's been watching it. Arke says it's good that we're here, but I don't know. Something about this place doesn't feel right. What? No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, I see. 
All right. Right. I'll settle in, and then R.K. and I will start to put things right. Don't you worry. A noble cause. R.K. likes the idea very much, so I'm happy to help. Alright, that, that helped. Oh, I've read a few things. Heard a few more things. R.K. has told me a bit as well. The story they'd like you to believe is that they were such a noble bunch, doing the honorable thing, saving lives. Only I hear that's not quite how it happened. Secret organization, you see. No one to blame when homes are broken into, things stolen. Right. Heard they'd go on midnight raids, pillaging and looting, and oh, then stash wow. the spoils somewhere, guarded by their sigil. R.K. tells me the Sunfire spell can break open those caches, but I've never found one. I think you might be lying to me. Okay, uh... What have you got for sale? Oh, well, some things, I suppose. Remedies, cures, a poison or two. What about tomes? Uh, I think, is this it? Undead and melee range take 8 damage per second. Let me try that. Greater wounds, 120 health to yourself and nearby allies. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really looking for an overtime. Something I can throw on myself before going into combat. Uh, the healing blossom. 60 points per second for 10 seconds, so it's very short duration. But that's probably what I'm looking for. Mutagen, 8 health per second for 120 seconds. Actually, 8 health for 120 seconds seems pretty nice, because I'm getting double. It's 16. So I could probably buy both, and I could play around with it. So I want Mutagen and healing blossom yeah running a spell sword for dawn guard seems like it would be a lot of fun might have to do that in the future speak with gunmar he has something for you all right okay then. so if i open this is it under miscellaneous Speak with Gunmar. I found another beast hiding from the light of day. Fight bravely, friend. Yeah, but that that quest icon's still here. I'm going to pause you and look that quest up and see if it's part of the Dawn Guard chain. Okay. Uh I, I didn't find a direct answer, but I did find some people talking about use that DL, that set stage uh, command again. So that's what I did. I opened my console. You can see it here, set stage DLC1 RH03. I did see one other comment say that 03 didn't work for them, but 02 did. And then the, the starting stage is 10 for all of them. Uh, 10 is always the starting stage as far as I understand it and what that did is that that got rid of the talk to Dunmar miscellaneous quest and it advanced it to preemptive strike which is one of the ones that I still need so we're gonna go do this now glad that I've I've kind of learned during this series how to use that console when it comes to quests it's that's been real helpful he said the vigilance okay where do I need to go it might be in another land where does it say that I need to go? Greywater Grotto. Alright, let me uh, put 
put you on pause and look that up. Okay, it says southwest of Helgen. So, uh, let's see, Blackthorn. Over here is Helgen. Southwest. Well, there it is right there. Do I not have it uh, marked? Oh, that's why. Durr. That guy looks cool. Neat looking pictures. What people can do with light and depth of field and stuff like that. Oh, we're a little bit tired. I bought that troll to see if I could, uh, if I needed to do that. Maybe that was a prerequisite for the quest or something. But I don't actually need him. But uh, since I bought him, he's with us. Looks like I lost my troll already. Here he is. Get to break out some new spells. Go ahead and get out of here. We'll return back to Fort Dongard, turn the quest in. Hold on. Old key. Wonder what that's about. Ice Wolf Pelt, okay. And, uh, 
we'll wrap this episode up. I'm going to go ahead and take this into an editor because a lot of the standing around in Wendhelm I did trying to figure out how to take care of that vampire I think can be completely cut out. And uh, you guys can just understand that I had to kind of puzzle that out. I followed him around for a little bit. Neat. And then I, I finally uh, figured out that we could talk to him and uh, dialogue options appeared to intimidate him into following us. But for a long time, he was standing at a junction in Windhelm that is really uh, kind of a high traffic area. And I sat there and watched him for quite a while, looking for a pattern in the traffic and an opening where I could uh, strike him down without being seen. And that never happened. But it took, uh, it took me a little while before I decided to use the uh, wait for an hour option and get him to uh, move someplace else in Windhelm. And then from there I figured out, I, I went and talked to him to see if I could, uh, if there were dialogue options and lo and behold there were. Do, do, do. Fort Dongard, yes. So when all the editing is done, this episode might be less than an hour probably will be, but we're in overtime right now also. We're famished and freezing. So, off screen I'll have to take care of sleep needs and stowing of any uh, equipment and gear and stuff, selling things. And I'll do all that off screen. Cozy little place, isn't this? Excellent. That's one less beast and nest of broodlings we needn't worry about any longer. Take care okay. of yourself. Let's leave that alone for right now. And I will save it. All right. And again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you in the next episode where this story continues.